Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the inaugural World Visual Art Series, Mark Smith's exhibition and non-linear perspective. Schönen guten Abend, meine sehr verehrte Damen und Herren, and willkommen in the Pershans Concert Hall to the Ausstellung von Mark Schmitz. My name is Barbara McNaught and I have the honor to be here, your host, tonight. I would like to have a special welcome to our guest of honor. I would like to welcome Mr. Thorsten Kettelsen, Honorable Consul, Consulate of the Federal Republic of Germany. <laughs> Honorable John Day, MLA, Minister for Planning, Culture and the Arts. <laughs> Andrew Bolt, General Manager of the Perth Consent Hall. And least but not last, Mark Smith, who came all the way from Berlin, Germany, to be here with us tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome now to the stage um, the lady who is behind tonight, a founder of our event, Mrs. Ensley Gatt. Ensley has worked in the visual arena for the last 15 years, during this time, she co has co on a gallery for eight years and has curated hundreds of exhibitions, building strong relationships with private, corporate, and in institutional collectors. Please welcome to the stage, Ansley Gatt. Thank you, Barbara, and thank you for being a part of this evening. I would like you I'd like to welcome you all here this evening to the Perth Concert Hall. Um, this is a very special event for us all. In particular, I'd like to welcome the Honourable John Day, MLA, Minister for Planning, Culture and the Arts, uh, Torsten Kettelsen, the Honorary Consul for the Republic of Germany for Perth, Western Australia, Andrew Bolt, the General Manager of the Perth Concert Hall, and of course Mark Schmidt, all the way from, from Berlin in Germany, and ladies and gentlemen. I'm really delighted you are joining me here this evening for the inaugural World Visual Arts Series Mark Schmidt Exhibition VIP Cocktail Night to celebrate the works by Berlin artist Mark Schmidt. Thank you all for coming. My name is Ainsley Gatt and I'm proud to be presenting this body of work to you by Mark. Mark and I have been working on this uh, exhibition since the beginning of this year, um, bringing it to, for, from Berlin to Perth. Um, this collection of artwork tonight uh, is a celebration that has been put on to you to have the opportunity to purchase some wonderful original artwork. And if you are purchasing artwork this evening, please make your way to the front desk uh, where you were greeted this evening, and Karis and Denise will assist you. This exhibition, the World Visual Arts Series, represents a vital aspect of my company, Ainsley Gate Art Consultancy, and the role our supporters play in bringing artistic and cultural diversity and excellence to the people of Western Australia. The walls of this iconic building regularly host the pinnacle of local and international visual artists. This exhibition is no exception. Visual art exhibitions of this importance only take place with the assistance and financial and corporate partners. I am especially grateful to our sponsors for their foresight and cultural and artistic appreciation. Without their commitment, the Mark Schmidt tour to Perth would not have occurred. I would like to take the time to acknowledge our partners for the World Visual Arts Series Mark Schmidt Exhibition. Scott Turner, VIP Perth, Patrick Kittermore, Air Liquid, Lisa and Julian Wright, Marywood Park Wines, which we're all drinking this evening, James Smedley, Abbott and Co Printing, Andrew Bolt, the Perth Concert Hall, Amanda Horton, Western Suburbs Weekly, Kai Peters, the Thunds of German Airlines, Paul Pragnall, D.B. Schenker Australia, and Yvonne Sharp, Black Cat Lounge, and the two German festivals currently on in Australia, in unison, hosted by Christine and Akim Burmeister, and Berlin Days, which is a part of the Goethe Institute Australia. Finally, I would also like to thank Karis McEwen for all the work that she has put in this year and to this project to help make this event come together, and to all our wonderful volunteers. Uh, at, the end of the, at the end of this evening, there are <coughs> gift bags for you all to take home, so please um, feel free to grab one on your way out, and please enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anne. 
Anthony. I would like please to welcome now to the stage Mr. Thorsten Kettelsen, Honorable Consul, Consulate of the Federal Republic of Germany. <coughs> Honorable John Day, MLA, Minister for Planning, Culture and the Arts. Mr. Andrew Bolt, the General Manager of the Perth Concert Hall. Heinz Ligert, the convener of the inaugural World Visual Arts Festival and host for this event tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, a very special and warm welcome to Mark Schmitz and a recognition of your presence here tonight. Mark is a Berlin contemporary and international artist whose works are on display here today as part of the <coughs> first event in the World Visual Art Series. When Ainsley asked me some time ago to welcome Mark Schmitz on behalf of the German community in Western Australia, I was very happy to do so not only on behalf of the German community in Western Australia, but also on behalf of the wider community and the art-loving community here in Western Australia. Mark really requires very little introduction. He is a highly acclaimed German contemporary artist. He was born in Hamburg, my hometown, in 1963, which incidentally is the same year that the Beatles in Hamburg hit the top of the charts. <laughs> <clears throat> Mark studied uh, philosophy and fine arts, and most of his life, uh, his working time, he spent in Berlin, which is, of course, nowadays, after the unification of the two German states about 20 years ago, the undisputed modern arts capital of Europe. The amount of uh, galleries and exhibition places in Berlin is probably second to none. It's quite amazing and it's a vibrant city and a vibrant art center. But Mark is an international artist with numerous installations and art exhibitions off the beaten arts highway of Paris, New York, in places like Korea, Cairo, Singapore, China, Azerbaijan, Turkey, and even the Gobi Desert. I think that is quite an achievement, just to mention a few, Mark. It is his art that always brings him back down to earth and connects him with the places that wherever he is. Uh, we welcome Mark with open arms and open hearts to Western Australia. His visit comes hot on the heels of a recent wonderful performance of the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra right here in the Perth Concert Hall under the longtime conductor of uh, con conductor Sir, Sir Simon Rettel. It is visits like these that well and truly put Perth on the cultural map of the world. <coughs> the Perth community is very open-minded in all matters of arts and most appreciative of the grown, growing international exposure. While Perth and the resources-rich state of Western Australia is these days making the headlines of all the business news around the world, there is still quite a long way to go to gain the same prominence in the arts and cultural aspects. I would like to acknowledge in this regard the, the very good work that is done by Ainsley Gutt and the World uh, Visual Art Series, as well as Andrew Bold and his team of the World Orchestra Series, who brought to Perth recently the Berlin Ph Philharmonic Orchestra and before that the London Philharmonic Orchestra, and really that was a first uh, for Perth in, in the arts and cultural uh, sector. Mark Schmitz, like all the artists before him and those following him, can always be assured of a very warm welcome and a, and a generous West Australian hospitality. And most of the time of the magnificent weather we have here in the West. 
compared to Berlin at the moment, I guess. I, I would like to wish you, Mark, a very successful exhibition here in Western Australia and hope that many of these magnificent paintings that we see around the, the walls will find a new home here in Western Australia. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Minister. I would like to welcome now to the stage Mr. Mark Schmidt to say a few words <coughs> about your presence here, your vision. Mark, please welcome. I can translate. <laughs> Good evening. Um, thank you all for coming and thanks all the people who made this event uh, happen. Um, I hope you don't expect many words about the art which you can see here. Um, and find uh, explanations by your own. If um, you like to uh, uh, look at the catalogue, there there's two uh, recent essays from uh, Dr. Jürgen Schilling and Raja Suri, which is a good friend of mine, a creator in Beijing. And, you know, there's lots of theoretical things you could say about this works, but from my perspective, um, it's the best to go by feeling and just to see it. <laughs> um, I think you might have seen that um, the colors I used for these paintings are a little different than the usual colors you see in Perth. Um, of course, I didn't know this before, but I can see now. And I hope you enjoy a little bit of cool air of Berlin. We have now minus four degree here in Perth, and if you have the chance uh, to have one of these paintings in your home, um, you might even switch off uh, sometime your air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> I won't say too many things. I mean, if you if you like to talk with me, I'm here. Uh, just let me say I love Perth, and I hope um, the people of Perth like my paintings. Thank you very much and enjoy the evening. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. There is nothing like imagination, ladies and gentlemen. Well, now I would like to welcome officially the Honorable John Day, MLA, Minister for Planning, Culture and the Arts, to officially launch the World Visual Art Series and open the Mark Schmidt exhibition. Please welcome Mr. John Day. Thank you very much, Barbara, and to Ainsley Gatt, to Mark Schmitz, Mr. Torsten Kettleson, and Andrew Bolt, General Manager of the Perth Constable, standing quietly over here to my right. It's always a great pleasure to be here at the Perth Concert Hall, of course. I think this is probably the uh, arts venue in Western Australia that I visit uh, more than probably any other single institution. and. Uh, it's a venue which is really iconic in relation to the performing arts and in particular uh, for musical performances. But as we can see here tonight, uh, and as Ainsley I know arranges on a regular basis, uh, it's also a very good venue for the visual arts. It is an honour to be asked to open Mark's exhibition here. Uh, as we've heard, he has had quite an extensive career of over 20 years and with exhibitions in America, Europe, Asia and now here in Perth, Australia. So welcome to Perth, Mark. Uh, it's wonderful to hear that you've had a very positive time here and from talking with you earlier. I know that you have, uh, amongst probably many other things, discovered that Australia is very much more than kangaroos and the Sydney Opera House, the Sydney Harbour and so on and you, uh, like many visitors to Perth for the first time from overseas, uh, now have an appreciation probably of the expanse of this country but also the great diversity and uh, some of uh, what we do have to offer on this side of the Australian continent. We do, amongst many other things, uh, consider that we have a great deal of artistic diversity and talent 
ability and creativity here in West Australia, including in the visual arts, of course, and that is uh, manifested in many ways and in many locations, principally, I guess, through the Art Gallery of Western Australia, and if uh, any of you haven't been there in recent times, I would certainly encourage you to visit, um, but also many exhibitions in both other public galleries and private galleries such as Ainsley's here really right across Western Australia. We also though very much welcome international input and uh, opportunities for us to see the works, in the case of the performing arts, to hear the works, see the works of um, people from overseas, from elsewhere in Australia and internationally and this exhibition is certainly giving us that opportunity because it does provide us with an alternative point of view, it uh, provides us with the opportunity to be um, intellectually stimulated and to be inspired through uh, many other perspectives as well. And as we heard from Mr Kettleson, uh, really this exhibition of Marx from Berlin is a wonderful complement to the performance of the, the two performances of the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra right here in the Perth Concert Hall uh, only two weeks ago and uh, that visit is universally regarded I think as an outstanding success and certainly uh, a great deal of the credit is due to Andrew here, uh, Andrew Bolt, um, and I know you've been acknowledged nationally in that respect Andrew but that is certainly very much deserved uh, and it was only on Sunday night two weeks ago that I had the pleasure together with many other people of uh, standing where you are and listening to Sir Simon Rattle um, speak very positively about his and the orchestra's experience here in Perth over the few days that they were here. Uh, so this is a wonderful compliment to uh, that experience from Germany as well and the German influence in our culture is quite strong, of course, in fact very strong and very much appreciated and something that we very much want to continue. So thank you Mark for making your work available here and for the arrangement that um, the relationship you've established with Ainsley and having uh, the opportunity for this exhibition to be here in Perth. I'm sure that both you and Ainsley would be delighted. Uh, members of the audience, if you are inspired to not only look but also to buy some of the works here this evening, I think they're all for sale. I think that's the case, Ainsley. So I do encourage you, um, if you are so inspired, to think about that very seriously. But um, in particular, you have got some very thought provoking and uh, interesting works here, Mark, and something that we can uh, look at closely or from a distance and admire in many different ways. So Best of luck with the exhibition, and it's my very great pleasure to declare this exhibition of Mark's work officially open. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minister. Well, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the evening. Have a happy purchasing. Before you go, I'd just like to once again thank my supporters this evening with a lovely bottle of wine.